What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of Evolution X ROM on this device. So let me just first go into the settings and show you which version is this. You can see up top there is the Evolution X logo, the Android version is 10 of course and if you notice the build date this is the 5th May 2020 build and the security patch is even latest too like May 5th of 2020 and the Evolution X version if you notice this is the version 4.3 undisputed official build. So this is the latest one as of right now. You can see the maintainer is Joe Huab and then if you notice the stock kernel which is the latest immensity kernel. If you have been following me from a couple of months you should know that this Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro is my one of the most favorite ROMs ever and I have been getting updates in almost every two to three days and I would say the like flashing was totally fine I never faced any kind of boot loop while manually updating and talking about updating the ROM I just like flash the latest build with the fcrypt disweller and reboot as my storage is decrypted that works totally fine for me your storage may be encrypted so in that case you just flash the ROM after entering your pin inside recovery and here let me talk about like how I switched from MIUI 12 to this ROM and if you haven't seen the MIUI 12 video on the Redmi K20 Pro here is a card for you and to switch from MIUI 12 I had to change the recovery otherwise the 10.0.6 version of Orange Fox recovery was not just working so I had to switch to the latest Orange Fox recovery which is the 10.1 underscore 1 I guess and with that version I just flashed the latest MIUI 11.0.4 like official firmware not actually MIUI 12 that's a MIUI 11 Android Q based firmware and after flashing that firmware I flashed the ROM file and FTP disabler and rebooted that's how simple it was but I had to format while switching from MIUI 12. The stock camera over here is still the like MIUI camera and all the like switching between the camera lenses and stuff is totally fine as you can see and switching to the front camera as you can see the light and stuff is working totally fine not a problem and here let me switch to the back camera again if you go to the video mode as you can see the vlog mode is not here if you are noticing inside the video mode which is kind of disappointing right now but yeah this is the MIUI camera we get over here and there is this track moving object and stuff but the vlog mode is not here and we have the short video slow motion and stuff yes 960 fps slow motion should be working totally fine and in terms of video you can shoot up to 4k and 60 fps as you can see from here so that should not be a problem but let me show you if i go to the pro mode we have the 48 megapixel mode and stuff and raw and stuff is there but there is no vlog mode over here we also have this ultra pixel mode over here pictures and stuff are totally fine with like taking with the stock camera and now let me show you I have already installed this Google camera and if you don't have this Google camera you can click on the card right here. This is the latest Google camera 7 and let me show you the info from here. As you can see this is actually the version 1.7 of your Nix. So this Gcam is working totally fine and all the like options and stuff are there. A night sight option is there too and it works with like almost all the lenses and yes if you guys are worried about l3 kind of like drm info here let me show you as you can see my security level is right now l1 so after flashing the latest miui 11.0.4 firmware i think it has changed back to level 1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here from now on so that's not a problem anymore so if you were on miui 12 and you got level 3 kind of drm info you do not need to worry if you have a redmi k20 pro indian unit and you can totally get back the level 1 kind of certificate and the stock launcher over here is still the google pixel launcher and here to the left we get the discover window of google and swiping down gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel swiping up gets you to the app drawer there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen but there is double tap to sleep on the like status bar and i customized the lock screen or the always on display like this you can say and here let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see it unlocked fine with my right thumb now try the left thumb and here we have the unlocking speed and i would say the unlocking speed i do not have a problem it's quite fast and accurate it did not work for once then and let me do it again and it works let's do it again so yeah as you can see the figment scanner over here i do not have much issues at all the figment scanner is fast and accurate over here and pretty reliable now let me talk about the face unlock and stuff yes those has been removed the face unlock is not there anymore so yeah kind of a bummer if you liked the face unlock a lot and inside system we have the system updater and here it shows 
like the android version and, and stuff again but you can check for updates from here as you can see this is pretty cool and here we have some rules and stuff then if you go to gestures we have the gesture navigation and from here i customize this gesture bar size that's why if you're noticing on the bottom this gesture bar shows like totally a little bit bigger as you can see so yeah you can customize that you can hide the like gesture navigation bar if you would like to use the full real estate of the screen and stuff those things are there and there is also this touch screen haptic feedback over here so that's cool like whenever i swipe down like this or like this it gives me a little bit of haptic feedback and the front camera sound effects are there too i have it disabled but you can use any of these sound effects if you'd like totally fine now into the battery settings and here is how it looks like shows the battery temperature below and here it shows the screen on time and stuff and as you can see i got about 4 hours and 49 minutes of screen on time and here is my usage the battery life is pretty good i have been getting 7 to 8 hours of screen on time easily with every charge so you do not need to worry much about the battery life over here on this drum at all it can definitely give you a full day of usage without any issues and 18 watt fast charging is working fine over here too so that's not a problem in the display settings we have the lock screen display and stuff then always on display is working totally fine now from here we have the dark theme you can schedule the dark theme if you need and live display option and stuff is there if you scroll down we also have the dc dimming or anti flicker mode if you want to enable it you can do that double tap to wake is working totally fine not a problem inside sound if you scroll down we have the me sound enhancer or the audio direct we also have this hi-fi audio option and then we have the youth and stuff like this kind of settings of the earphone settings as you can see there are plenty of options here and i would say the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazing right now the quality is just great and here the screenshot sound and stuff charging sound charging vibration you can disable them and this is how the volume panel looks like of course you can enable this ring notification etc volumes if you want to have a lot of like things over here inside the volume panel and there is this live caption mode you can enable it if you'd like to and then we have this vibrator and haptic feedback as you can see and if you have this vibrate for calls enabled you can customize your vibrating pattern over here like these kind of options these are pretty cool i would say that you can customize between these many options now if we scroll down we get the evolver option and here of course we get all the customizations of this rom and i would say there are a plethora of, of customizations over here i have no complaints almost regarding these many customizations yes i like to have a lot of customizations and this rom is just perfect for me in that aspect now let me go to the themes we have the accent color switching option and you can like customize however you want like this color you can set whatever you want and you can choose the headline and body fonts plethora of options are there and here inside icon shapes we have square teardrop square scale cylindrical and rounded rectangle option inside status bar we have this like rounded filled circular kind of icon i have default inside header image you can like set any kind of header image from storage even you can like pick one up so that's really cool if you enable it and there is this new tint style in the quick settings panel i don't really use it i have it turned off and the background blur on this like quick settings panel are working totally fine and by the way this network kind of thing i am using a different app for this so this is not the roms feature inside status bar we have the clock option then over here you can customize the clocks of the status bar you can change the height and stuff or i mean the size of course and there you have the small or normal kind of ampm style clock font color you can change on the status bar and a lot of like other customizations then we have the network traffic indicator but i don't have it turned on status bar items are there headset bluetooth etc icons are there let me go back we have the status bar logo i have been using this biohazard logo on the left corner if you are noticing and the battery style you can change to icon portrait circle dot circle etc and the big circle option is there too and you can change the battery percentage position from here of course and vaulty icons are there so you can change the vaulty icons as however you like you can choose this view option or wallet icon so yeah a lot of like vaulty icons are there you can change however you want now let me go to the notifications and here you can disable the heads up and there are like plenty of customization for less boring heads up and stuff so those things are there ringtone audio focus is there it says both speaker and headset and then headset only if music is active this is a nice feature and then pulse notification kind of feature is there too you can customize the color of the pulse notification from here you can change it to red and stuff if you would like and you can change it from here to like notification color system accent color custom color etc and then there is the timeout for light 
pulse as you can see i have it infinite by default and the battery charging light is there of course this is the like led on the camera that too works fine i mean while charging and stuff blink flashlight for call waiting and stuff is there and blink flashlight for incoming call too is there let me go back to the quick settings panel here we have the vibrate on toggle touch quick pull down and smart pull down both are there so that's cool and then column and row number customization is there quick setting footer text and stuff you can enable it or disable it and in terms of quick settings of course let me show you one thing here we have the fps counter so if you enable it as you can see on the side top it shows the fps you cannot really move it around but yeah it does show the fps right here and we also have the screen recorder option which i added over here by editing from here of course and this like recorder is working totally fine if i tap on it if i always agree as you can see this is the oxygenous kind of screen recorder now inside power menu we do have the advanced reboot even on the lock screen so that's cool and here let me show you if i tap on advanced reboot i can directly reboot to recover your fast boot or just the system ui from here now let me go back to the gestures we have the aosp gestures and stuff swipe to the screenshot is there this is the asus kind of long screenshot feature and there is also the edit option over here Brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar is just working fine. I cannot really live without this feature. Screen of power button torch is working fine too. Status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep both works. No issues. And inside lock screen we have the pocket direction mode and then fingerprint icon of course. We have these many icons as you can see. I don't know why it shows this kind of blank option. I have no idea it should so the evolution x kind of icon these colorful icons and stuff are like working fine here and then we have the fingerprint animation and you can choose any kind of animation as you can see we have plethora of animation i have been using this stripe you can also use the dna future etc the molecular on then the color was 7 1 and 2 options are there so a lot of fingerprint scanner animations particularly are there and that is why i like this evolution x rom a lot more and in the fingerprint pressed effect as you can see this is the light which emits from the fingerprint scanner you can change it to me by cyan me by white vivo cyan vivo cyan shadow and then shadow alt then vivo green and yellow a lot of options for these kind of things i have been using the default one which is a me by cyan and has been working totally fine for me now if i scroll down we have the charging animation you can change the charging animation to flash battery drop explosion this is the like small animation which happens on the lock screen then if we go to the navigation bar you can enable it if you want to we have invert layout option if you're using two or three button navigation this would really really help you and in the animation section we have the screen of animation i have it like turned on to crt you can choose the scale or default if you would like and you can control the whole ui animation from here of course and then if you go to misc we have the gaming mode then wake up on charge option i have it disabled charging animation is there too and then screenshot type you can change from here the ambient display brightness changing option is there too and here we have the usb configuration and i have it set to like file transfer so that whenever i connect a usb cable to my pc it goes to the like file explorer kind of mode and in terms of daily driving performance and stuff i would say the evolution x has been holding up really really well i do not have any issues at all while daily driving on this rom i have been daily driving on this rom for months now and i would say this is just great and it is even better right now in terms of stability and stuff even with a lot of features this rom is a lot stable than like what you would expect from a custom rom now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app on speeds and the ram management over here let's open twitter now and play store youtube just look at the like app opening up speeds and the animations over here my wi-fi is kind of a bit slow today i guess now let me open all the apps from memory again as you can see how fast it is while like opening apps from memory and as you can see all the apps do stay in memory and nothing is like out of memory or like removed from memory so that's cool the ram management over here is just great i do not have any issues even though this is a 6 gb ram variant as you can see switching between apps is just a breeze over here i do not have any kind of issues at all sometimes it does happen as you can see right now if i scroll like this that's when i can go back and yeah the performance over here i would say is just amazing over here i do not have any issues and in terms of gaming let me open call of duty and as you can see in terms of the graphics settings i have it on very high and we have the frame rate at max and we also have this ragdoll and anti-aliasing settings over here
So as you just saw, I can pretty much get around 60 FPS on Call of Duty and even in PUBG I can play with extreme settings so that's not a problem. And here is the Android and Geekbench score on this ROM. And in terms of the live wallpapers, of course there is this default live wallpapers over here and inside living universe we have much more like this earth and stuff and if you want to get the MIUI 12 kind of live wallpapers here is a card for you that will totally give you the MIUI 12 kind of experience over here. We have this papers app and with this you get a bunch of evolution x kind of wallpapers of course. If you have like used any kind of evolution x rom earlier you should know as you can see we have a lot of options of these wallpapers you can choose any of them i have been using this one i guess and over here you have a bunch of options for the evolution x kind of wallpapers and it does look amazing over here as you can see so yeah pretty cool wallpaper kind of options present by default over here and talking about this record app yes i cannot still record with this google's audio recorder as you can see even if i tap the record button i cannot even pause it right now without a headset i guess but if you connect a headset it should work without a headset this google's recorder app by default does not work it just freezes at zero zero and the google pay works right out of the box so you do not need to worry about banking apps on this rom so what are my thoughts about this rom well i would say Yes, this is still by far one of the best daily driver custom ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro in my personal opinion and with my personal usage I would say I would prefer Evolution X over almost like any custom ROM out there. As of right now this is totally just my personal opinion. Your opinion may vary and you may have a totally different kind of custom ROM as your favorite. So yeah, that's how I feel. Thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and while you are down there let me know how do you feel about this evolution x rom in the comments below and this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye, -bye now